Here's the process of jarring up and then administering a subcutaneous injection. So I'm gonna demonstrate with um, insulin. So insulin has a specific needle, um, it's in units. So we're gonna pretend that the order is for four units of um, insulin, so rapid acting Novolog. So I have my medication, and even though it's not open yet, I still have to clean the top of the vial just in case. So I'm gonna add on, clean it for at least 10 seconds. insulin needle. I'm going to draw up four units of the air. Inject the air into the vial and then draw up the four units of insulin. To recap, even though it's not best practice, I'm going to use the swoop and scoop method just to prevent any needle sticks. And then if I was transporting this medication to a patient room, you always want to um, label it because if you have a bunch of medications and you have long acting insulin and short acting and then all these other medications, you don't wanna get them confused. So make sure you label. I'm gonna use the site on someone's stomach. Um, you also can use the back of the arms, any really fatty area. Um, you want to avoid doing the injection right near the belly button or the umbilicus. I usually aim for like at least an inch around it. So once I pick my site, I'm going to clean it with alcohol swab. And then let that dry. When doing a subcutaneous injection, one thing you do is called pinch an inch. So you pinch a little bit to form the skin up and then jab it at a 90 degree angle. Um, make sure you're not pinching too close because you don't want to accidentally stick your own finger. With any um, injections, you want to make sure you're using like a dart method with your dominant hand. You don't want to hold the back of the plunger when you're injecting because you can inject the medication in the wrong spot, you can um, inject it before you even put it in the skin, you'll lose medication and that's just bad practice. So make sure you're using your non-dominant hand to dart it in and then moving your finger after. So once it's dry, I'm gonna pinch at a 90 degree angle and then move my finger to inject. Take it out and then inject the safety.